Good morning, children. Welcome to the online classes of Appa Public School, Kalburgi. I am Shakuntala, your English language teacher of Grade Four. Hello, students. You all know that we I have completed the first lesson, twelve silver cups. So in that only we have a poem. Okay, poem, my shadow. So today I am going to recite this poem. Before going to recite this poem. I want you to know about the poet. The students, we used to pronounce it as poem, but in the new version, we are going to spell it as poem. Poem, my shadow. Children, you all know what is the meaning of shadow? Shadow is a reflected image. Okay, what is shadow? Shadow is a reflected image. Now, before going to recite the poem, I want you to know about the poet who has written this poem, Robert Louis Stevenson. So, Robert Louis Stevenson. Now, I will show you the portrait of Robert Louis Stevenson. Was born in Scotland. In Scotland on 13th November 1850. So he was a famous and popular novelist and poet of his time. All have understood, students, children, and you have. I am showing you the portrait of the poet. Okay, all are enjoying. I think. Now all have understood who has written this poem, My Shadow. My Shadow is a reflected image. Now, before going to explain each stanza, first I want to recite this poem. Now all along with me, you have to follow. So page number twenty-one. Did you know that someone follows you around in a day? So they are asking a question. What is the question? Did you know that someone follows you around in a day? What is that? That is nothing but children. That is a shadow which will go in and out when we follow. The shadow is following around us. Okay. They are asking this question only. Who is that? That is none other than shadow. Read the poem to find out who it is. So now I am going to read the poem. Who is that? He. Uh, who is that? What the question they have asked? Who is that? The answer we are going to get when I recite the poem. My shadow. I have a little shadow that goes in and out with me. And what can be the use of him is more than I can see. He is very, very like me from the heels up to the head, and I see him jump before me. And when I jump into my bed, the funniest thing about him is the way he likes to grow. Not at all, all like proper children, which is always very slow, for he sometimes. Shoots up taller, taller like an India rubber ball, and so and he sometimes gets so little that there is none of him at all. He hasn't got a notion of how children ought to play, and can only make a fool of me in a every sort of way. He stays so close beside me. He is a coward. You can see. I would think shame to stick to a nursery, as that shadow sticks to me. One morning, very early, before the sun was up, I rose and found the shining dew on every buttercup. But my lazy little shadow, like an errant, sleepy head, he had stayed at home behind me and was the 
fast asleep in bed so we have this poem contains four stanzas how many stanzas are there children in this poem there are four stanzas so now i have read the, i have read the whole poem now according to the stanza wise i am going to explain you all are ready yes children you can enjoy the poem that is poem sorry poem we are using it as a poem now first stanza you all know what is the meaning of shadow shadow is a reflected image yes now in this in this poem i have a little shadow that goes in and out with me and what can be the use of him is more than i can see he is very very like me from the hips up to the head and i see him jump before me when i jump into my bed so the first stanza children here poet himself is a narrator poet himself is a narrator the boy is none other than the poet who is bringing the innocent mind of the children to the surrounding to the surrounding the boy says the boy says he has a shadow which goes in and out with him and he also says i am not able to understand i am not able to understand what is the use of the shadow yes children you are understanding in the first stanza the poet himself is a narrator narrator the boy is none other than the poet who is trying to bring out the innocent mind of the children to their surrounding to their surrounding and poet says the boy says what he says i i, I have a shadow which was in and around with me and i am not able to understand what is the use of shadow the boy says it is very very like me from tip to bottom what the boy says the boy says the shadow is very very like me from tip to bottom you have you have understood the first stanza children so here the poet himself is narrating narrating is telling a story so the boy okay this is the explanation of the first stanza now i am going to read the second stanza the funniest thing about him is the way he likes to grow not at all like proper children which is always very slow for he sometimes shoots up taller like an india rubber ball and he sometimes gets so little that there is none of him at all this is the second stanza now you have understood what is the what is the explanation of first stanza now we'll see and india rubber ball is a small ball that bounces high when it is, when it hits a surface see the ball which is very small if i hit so it is going to go very high okay now here the second stanza the explanation of the second stanza the boy says the boy says says children usually grow very slowly but the shadow sometimes will be over high usually grow slow but shadow will be sometimes grows very over and sometimes will be very tiny tiny means very small okay this is creating a confusion and curiosity in the mind of the boy you understanding children in the second stanza the explanation of the second stanza is the boy says what the boy says the boy says children usually grow slow but shadow 
sometimes will be over and sometimes it is tiny tiny means small and this is creating a confusion in the mind of the confusion and curiosity in the mind of the children okay understood the second stanza now i am reading the third stanza children follow along with me he has a got a notion of how children ought to play and can only make a fool of me in every sort of way he stays so close beside me he is a coward you can see i would stick shame to stick to nursery as that shadow sticks to me what the boy is uh, telling us in the third third stanza the boy thinks the boy thinks that shadow doesn't have any idea of games so it is always copying the boy while playing you have understood children the boy thinks that shadow is not having any idea of games so it is following the boy while playing and the boy assumes what does the boy assumes the boy assumes that shadow covered covered means fear okay fear that always it stays close to him this is explanation of the third stanza now i am going to read fourth stanza follow along with me one morning very early before the sun was up i rose and found a shiny shining dew on every buttercup but my lazy little shadow like an erect sleepy head he had stayed at home behind me and was fast asleep in bed so now one day what happened the boy the the, uh, the innocent child or the innocent child doesn't know the signs behind the shadow the innocent boy doesn't know the signs behind the shadow so one day he woke up very early and what one day he woke up very early in the morning he saw a shining dew drops on the grass and he was not able to find the shadow at that moment the boy was not able to find the shadow at that moment he thought that shadow is very sleepy and lazy he could not get up early understood children what i am explaining in the first stanza the boy the innocent boy doesn't know the signs behind the shadow okay one day he got up early in the morning and he has seen what he has seen he has seen a shiny dew drops on the grass and not finding the shadow at the moment he thought he thought that shadow is very sleepy and lazy he could not get up okay he could not get up early i think all have understood the i have explained stanza wise children in this poem there are four stanza and i have explained according to the stanza wise yes everybody has understood okay thank you